Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Finally got my heavy metal test results back. So just an update, this is the third time I test for heavy metals. And this is the most recent one you're looking at. Um, this is the second one. And this is the original one before the chelation therapy was started. Um, again, these are uh, urine tests, six hour, with the provocative agent DMSA and um, so urine was collected for six hours after taking a high dose of DMSA uh, the dose was about 1800 milligrams at once in the morning upon rising and then for the next six hours um, collecting that urine and then sending it out to doctor's data which is a US based lab so the first one obviously really bad really high mercury uh, very high lead and then after about three and a half months of chelation therapy using various methods uh, that I outline in my other videos you can see a significant reduction in mercury and lead as well as other heavy metals toxic heavy metals and then, so ideally, of course, I wanted to bring everything down to as close to zero as possible, or at least bringing lead and mercury into the green zone, which is still in the yellow before it was in the red. Um, after chelation, it went down by a lot, by about um, three times less lead and three times less mercury excre excreted. And so that was this was the second test and this is the most recent test uh, about three and a half months interval between these two tests and uh, you know I was slightly disappointed with the latest test the third one over here um, you know because lead and mercury still in the yellow um, I was happy however that mer or that lead went down from the level of 4.3 to the level of 3 so I was happy um, to see that however I was surprised to see that mercury actually went up from 4.3 to 5.5 so um, originally it was 34 so but anyway, from the second to the third test, I was expecting that's going to be it in the green zone. So I wasn't so happy about the mercury going up. Um, the thing about these uh, urine tests with provocative agents is that they basically show you what your body is excreting. I think they're good tests for... Uh, showing you overall uh, lifetime accumulation of these toxic heavy metals unlike for example hair mineral analysis tests which the same that which the same lab doctors data also does um, and a lot of people do the hair mineral analysis but maybe they don't realize that the hair mineral analysis only shows you a snapshot of the heavy metal accumulation within um, about three to six months so it's more of a short-term snapshot whereas the urine provocation test which I did and doing is more of a lifetime accumulation which in my opinion uh, for my purposes works better and by the way I'm not a doctor this is not medical advice uh, and these are all have to be done with the uh, approval of a doctor uh, in my case it was a naturopathic doctor at ND that did the requisition form uh, without the requisition form signed off by the doctor the lab will not send you these results back even if you uh, purchase it on Amazon as some of um, the viewers did everybody needs um, a doctor's requisition to get these results back so having that said, um, in essence, what the 
what this kind of test does, the urine test, it does show, uh, in my opinion, a more accurate picture, more than the hair mineral analysis test. Because when you take, for example, a chelating agent in high dose like DMSA, it gath gathers up all these heavy metals that are stuck in your tissues, uh, lead is stuck in your bone, mercury is stuck in your tissues, fatty tissues, 